freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Hello and welcome, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to Friday's live stream. I was wrong. Oh my goodness. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Welcome, Lorenzo. Hey, are you wrong as well? I was so wrong. It's crazy. Even this morning, I was wrong three times before we started chatting. So I'm, I'm happy to share that with everyone and how it helped me out and how it helped you out and how it can help everyone out. Uh, hey, Campbell, you want to like, uh, m maybe we can start off on the wrong foot, so to speak, and you I'm can you can go first. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, being wrong is is the right thing to do sometimes, right? How, how do you learn if you're not wrong? The, the only thing, the only bad thing about being wrong is is repeating it, right? If, if, if you don't learn from it. Um, when everyone's heard me say it, there are no mistakes, they're just mistakes. So that's what wrong is. It's like, I just learned how to do it badly, right? So it just means go, go ahead and, and learn how to do it the correct way. And of course, we're talking about I was wrong because no one likes to admit it. We have this weird thing that we've been taught that being wrong is a weakness or being wrong means you're stupid or, or anything, right? But being wrong means you're alive. That's all it means. It means you're alive. If, if we know, right, that if you talk to someone and they're like, I'm never wrong, well, I mean, come on. It's like run. So um, being wrong is good, right? Maybe we need to flip the switch on that one a bit and get a different perspective and and make mistakes and see that that's how we actually go forward and learn how to do things properly. Yeah. I mean, if you're not happy with life, if life isn't good, I, you know, I've been wrong about everything. I've been wrong about history. I've been wrong about the meanings of words. I've been wrong about my own potential. I've been wrong about what I thought about my, I mentioned this story last time about what I thought about my father growing up. I've been wrong about everything. And, you know, the more I see I'm wrong, the more I'm laughing because, you know, how can you learn to grow unless you're wrong? And, 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 and these are just tiny, tiny, tiny ways of looking at it. Like, you know, I was wrong about my potential so I can, you know, be stronger. Or I was wrong about how great I am so I could have a better relationship. S such small wrongs. I mean, imagine being wrong about your imagination, being wrong about reality, being wrong about the history, being wrong about what's possible, being wrong about our cosmos. I mean, it's, it's endless how wrong you can be. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. and, but, but that, that opens up the other side. It's also endless how amazing you can grow from learning how wrong you were as you move through your life. And it's just, it's the best feeling. It's, it's crazy. But uh, as Campbell said, flip the switch. It's amazing how good it feels. And you feel so light. Go, ah, I don't got to carry all this wrong. I don't got to fight, you know, how I was right when I was. And, and your heart knows the truth, right? So also, you know, you clean your heart, cry a little, you know, admit you were wrong and, and see what's coming next. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And then laugh. And then we take life so too serious, you know, so seriously, right? Some people, it, 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 it's just life, guys. That it's just life. Don't take it so seriously. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You die. I mean, that's we're all going to do that. We're all going there. There's not, there's not many ways we can really stuff this up, apart from believing we've stuffed it up, and that that holds us, right? So, you know, look, look at how you stuffed up and laugh about it. Make up mm. jokes. Tell people jokes. Tell people funny stories. I mean, <laughs> you should hear Kelly. Kelly Jones, when she talks about it, when she stuff up, it's the funniest thing you've ever heard. And, and that's what it should be. You know, and then everyone gets to learn from it, right? Everyone yeah. gets to learn from that, from, you know, the bad judgment or whatever, and everyone gets to go forward. So, you know, it's this whole thing of, you know, we see it, right? These people, and they walk around with the world on their shoulders, and, and it's for little things, you know, oh my God, I did this. Oh, I, I, I farted in the office meeting, or you know, literally, it's, it can be stuff like that. Or you know, oh, I said the wrong thing. Oh, I, I offended someone. All this stuff. Who gives a shit? Just try it again, right? It's a miss. Take, take two, take three, take four hundred and eighty-nine if you really need to. Um, but but just keep going and 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 yeah, try and try and do it better. That's all it is. And, and, and I'm going to be, I'm going to share a little plug here. And if you want to see in detail how Campbell and I were wrong, we're doing face to face live two on one or one on one coaching services, taking anybody that may wish to, not anybody, 24 people through our course, Freedom's Calling You to Life's Lost Purpose, 12 sessions weekly over three months. A deal in three quarters, you know, contact me if you're interested in getting some details on how to go about doing that. There's already a couple of people looks like they're going to come in with us. So, you know, it's something Campbell and I, we're going to 
share face to face how we were wrong and how that helped us to grow up and to become strong men, uh, intelligent and ready for more and able to uh, accomplish much beyond what we thought was possible. And, you know, we'll go into a lot of the metaphysical things. We'll go into a lot of the energetic things. We'll go into a lot of uh, the masks, personas, you know, I'm just kind of recapitulating back. Uh, we'll go into our fault, you know, how we picked up what we needed to pick up and, you know, standing naked in our wonder and, you know, then wondering why we're naked and uh, all of the lovely things put, put together to figure out how we can help you as we helped ourselves, as you can help yourself figure out yourself because that's basically the bottom line is even though you've been wrong the only one that can find your right answers is still you mm. and that's you know that's kind of why why we're here talking is because we've stuffed up more than anyone we, we've just decided to learn from that's the only difference is we see mistakes and and you know what people could term failures we see them as opportunities to learn that, that's yeah. the, that's it that's the only difference you know that's the difference between someone who's you know, happy and out there building whatever, right? Their perfect life, and someone who's at home crying in the corner on a Friday night. The only difference is how they see what what they achieved, right? Some see it as, oh my god, I'm a complete failure. Some people go, well, that was really stupid. I won't do that again. Let's get back at it. And and that's the only that's the only way to go. I mean, think about it. What is giving up? I mean, how do you how, how do you even give up on life? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's called, you know, the big D word, right? If you're here and you're alive, there's no like it doesn't make sense to give up. What even what are you doing? Sitting on the couch crying? I mean, it, this is a really really I don't get it. Why you would be alive and have all this opportunity and not do anything? Because we know that we're all going to end up in the same place, a non physical place, and this experience will will be gone. So you know, use it while you got it. What's that saying? Use it or lose it. You know, this is this is all a choice. It's all a choice. We can choose to go on, learn, get better, get stronger, and then by that, teach by example and help others, or we can cry in the corner and point yeah. at the world and say it's everyone else's fault. And and, and really, I'm not just talking about a, 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 a mental exercise in this. You know, I, I want to be very clear with a lot of people. Being wrong and being right, energetically speaking, is is way more than that it's a health exercise it's a life uh, you know a enhancement exercise it'll keep you alive longer you know someone said being naked is for the young and firm it'll keep you firmer in your body you know because you you know by admitting you're wrong you get you get tight and you get strong you know you bring all your energy together it's all this i was right but I'm, like if you're if you're holding up a whole bunch of illusions and you're fighting how your guts know you're wrong you know your energy gets all spread out you know what did they say one of the hardest things to do is to remember all your lies so that you keep fighting for them so that you make sure you don't trip yourself up and and uh, you know so you're always kind of covering your ass so if you're so busy covering your lies you don't get an opportunity to bring all your energy together to move forward right because you're wrong is such a powerful statement for understanding, you know, how you can move in life, how you can grow in life, what you can uh, achieve in life. And, and, and you know, uh, even metaphysically speaking, and I, and I hate a lot of the new age stuff that says the fifth world is coming, the new earth is coming. Sure, the new earth is coming, but, but or, or sure, let's say there's higher energies coming or, or, or cosmic uh, awareness coming. But you got to, in my opinion, see how you are wrong in not achieving those in the first place so that you can move with it. Like, you know, no one's coming with a golden chariot, you know, four strong men or four strong women to put you on that chariot and carry you into this new earth, right? Or carry you into this, you know, uh, this new fifth dimension. You, you, you need to admit to yourself how you were living in the third or fourth dimension and what you were doing to help create it because nobody is a victim here so that you can look at yourself to create the new way to be alive beyond that, you know, and that's something that I really want to get into with Campbell and others besides, you know, as we get into this new year and new earth and new movements is how you can enhance your energy by being wrong so that you can be more right. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, be, being, yeah, being wrong is the, is the right thing to do. I think um, <laughs> learn, it's, it's, you know, and we kind of talked about, you know, words, how that they're kind of, they're like this, this um, Taurus, right? Like they, they mean what they mean. And they also mean the opposite. Um, so yeah, wrong is right, right? Wrong is the new black. Is that what they say? Um, and, and this is, you know, we've been all, all being wrong and it's, it's all taught. It's all taught. Look at a baby. Look at a baby, right? How many times does a baby try and walk? Anyone know the answer? 
The answer is as many times as it takes. Anyone ever seen a baby who's like, ah, oh, f- I, I, f- I fell down three times. That's it. Crawl into no, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, d- I'm a failure. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm a crawler. It's like, this is the thing. So that, that is who we are. And we get taught to, to look at it as failure. We get taught that it's a bad thing, but it's not. It's the only way to go forward. If the baby didn't try the second time, the third time, the fourth time, would it ever walk, work, you know, walk, if I can get my words out, would it ever walk? You know, and another thing is most people watching this video are probably sitting down. Now, if you're sitting down, try and stand up. What What's happening? Anything? <laughs> no, you're sitting, trying to stand up is called sitting down. And we get, so we get taught all these weird things, right? You can't try. I mean, we've all seen Star Wars. Do or do not. There is no try. Um, and, and this is the whole cry. You just got to keep trying. Find better ways to do things. If things aren't working, well, great. I just found a way that doesn't work. Now I'm going to find a way that does work, hopefully. If I don't find it this time, I might find it the next time. But this is the thing. It's because it's, it's the energy and intention of what we do that gives us the results. And that's it. You know, so if we're going in life looking for answers, looking for better ways to do things, they'll show up. But if we're going through life saying, I'm a failure, everything I do doesn't work, that defines me, well, your mind, your your RAS will prove you're right in that as well. I mean, we all know, too, how much energy we have. We can come to better answers. You know, you wake up in the morning, you feel like doing lots, so you do lots. You wake up in the morning, you feel like shit, so you don't do lots. And the reason I'm mentioning this is, like, imagine you only have $100 worth of energy in your life, for example, and you spend those dollars for your belief system or what you've done or being right. You know, so you spend $98 being right, even though maybe now you've seen, you know, 94 of those times are wrong. And so you can spend the last $6 you have fighting them as you get older and weaker and sicker and more curmudgeonly, or you can return you know, return those bad ideas and get your money back. You know, that's the way I, I, I've seen it. So you can return 87 of these bad ideas and the world or spirit or God is always loving you. And as long as, as soon as you get a bad idea returned, you go, okay, here's your, there's, you know, ref, uh, lifetime refund guarantee in being wrong, right? So, so, you know, you get this energy back, right? So you're wrong 60 times. And this is what I'm finding. Even last week, I realized how I was wrong and how I treated myself and other people. And suddenly... You know, I was talking with Campbell before we got on, more people want to work with us with affiliates, more people want to work with us with sharing, all these things that weren't working for like two months. And I was sitting there going, what the hell's going on? I had to say, well, how am I wrong? It's not like, oh my goodness, these guys aren't working well enough with me. These guys aren't being nice enough to me. These guys aren't getting back to me fast enough. These guys aren't giving me enough. It's no, I'm going, how am I wrong? What have I done? And then as soon as I changed that, I didn't even have to get up, actually. I did a lot of it sitting down, although I take long walks too. And so all this energy came back to me uh, for being wrong because that energy, I had a chance to re-spend it, if you like, or reinvest it in being right. right? So, you know, this is what I mean by the fact that this isn't a moral uh, uh, discussion that I'm having with people here. It's not about being right because or being wrong because it feels good or feels wrong. It's literally an energetic. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Uh, it's, it's literally an energetic maneuver to gain your energy back. Like, what do you think children have so much energy? Right? Like Campbell said, they fall down, they get up again. They don't go, oh, mm. my goodness. I, I was, I was, I, that's, don't tell anyone I fell down. I'm going to pretend I can walk for the rest of my life, even though <sighs> I can't. You know, you know, they'll get up and try again and again and again. And that's what keeps them flexible, energetic, young, attractive, sexy, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever. And uh, by sexy, all I mean is you got all your juice, you know, so, you know, don't spend it stupidly. And if you have, bring it back so you can use it again. It's a beautiful thing, as I said, mm-hmm. and it's the most beautiful thing in the world. And if you don't know how, I'll plug us again, take our course. We'll show you how we were wrong. Links below, join our Patreon page. We put it all back at your service because we actually love you all. And we're happy to share how we've been wrong. Mm, indeed. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say. Then. <laughs> you went on the sales pitch. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, we're basically getting back to the same thing. This is all about, you know, going forward and, and, and judging, right? How are we going to judge? And Lorenzo was talking about, you know, losing energy and getting it back. You know, when, when you're wrong and you're like, oh, I failed, oh, you know, all this kind of energy, 
you're literally giving it out. You, you're giving your energy out. It leaves you. You're not getting it back. And and you're giving it to someone who's sitting there judging you. Mm. Oh, well, you're an idiot because you did this way. Okay, have my energy. I'm sorry. Um, so that's a great idea. Ask for it back, you know. Um, sorry, that was wrong. Can I refund, please? Um, you gave me the wrong video, right? You gave me the wrong soundtrack, man. Um, ask for it back and do it again. You know, you know, because energy, this is, you know, we see so many people without energy, right? But the thing is about energy is it's instant. You know, we know, right? You can be sitting on, on the on the couch like, oh, my God, my life sucks. I've got no energy watching, you know, the TV. And suddenly your numbers come up and you win $10 million. Suddenly you have a lot of energy instantly. So it, it, this is the thing about energy. It's always there. But if we get in the habit of being a funnel out, constantly giving our energy to the outside world, we're never going to be holding enough for ourselves. So mm. it's time to plug up those holes. You know, it's like, well, why am I giving it out to that person? Oh, because they say that I'm whatever, right? I'm not smart enough to, to do the job they're doing. Okay, well, put a plug in that and go, well, maybe actually they're an asshole. I don't like them. No one really likes them. They're not actually that smart. They're just a system. Right? Okay, plug that one. You know, and stop giving all this energy away to people who are telling you you're wrong. You know, mm. you should understand you're wrong. And this is the thing, right? It's it's going inside. Why am I wrong? How can I change it? Because if someone else is telling you that you're wrong, that's based on their perspective. So how can you change it? You can't because because you're not them. You don't know this is right. So be wrong, but don't let others tell you that, that you're wrong. You know, have, have a look at it realistically. What are they telling me? Because most of these people that tell us stuff, they do everything that they tell you not to do. They're the biggest failures out there, right? It's like that saying, you know, people who are always right, they're the most stupid people out there because if you if you know everything and you're always right, you can never learn anything. Yeah. You know, and this we, we are all one and we are all in this together and the new age is coming. Like all of these points could be true, but if you're looking outside yourself, you know, what, what really gets missed the force for the trees is, you know, we're the perceivers and the perceived. So in order to pick up new potential, new ways to be alive, new ways to do things, you have to open your eyes, right? You have to perceive more, you have to feel more, you have to pick up more. And if you're not picking up everything yet, you know, and, and that would be if you're not happy in your life for whatever reason you happen to be, probably you're missing something. So probably you're wrong about something or else you'd be happy. You wouldn't be here. You'd be delighted. You'd be sitting on a beach somewhere with in your castle or, or, or naked in the sand because that makes you happy. So if there's something in you that's not feeling good, you can't blame someone because they may be wrong, but you're wrong for believing that their wrongness is somehow affecting you. Right? Right? Yeah. I, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's, yeah, it, it's all about... See, the thing as well about being wrong is, is understanding, you know, that, that you're right as well. Like when you make, when you, when you think you're right and others say, well, that's not right, what their opinion is just their opinion. It doesn't matter. You need to go with, with what's right for you, with what feels right, because most of the time people are wrong is when they're doing what they've been told and they kind of know it's not the right thing and they're going against their gut feelings. And when mm. well, we all know what happens when you do that, everything just, destroys itself spectacularly right the universe goes smack don't do that again um because you're not listening to yourself you're listening to the outside world right everyone's here for their own collective well, sorry their own individual experience but we're having a collective experience as well but but you're not here to experience your neighbor's life or, or even your child or your parent you're here to experience your life and the thing is it's no matter how much you want something else it's the only life you can experience the only person you can make decisions for is you. You, you can kid yourself and, and think that you can make them for your children or your parents or your employees, but you are kidding yourself 100% because when they go home and you're not in the room, they don't care what you want. They care what they want. Yeah. All right. So we, 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 this whole thing, we need to sort of get over this whole outside world, you know, dictates how we live and what's right and what's wrong. Um, so just, decide what you want, go ahead, make all the mistakes you can, make them as fast as you can, and you'll go forward faster. And just remember, they're just mistakes. You know, tell your kids this, mistakes don't 
They don't exist. It's a lie. Yeah. It's just a short shift to the left too. Like everyone kind of wants to be selfish in that, you know, maybe if you look at cake, you want the biggest piece or if you see, uh, you know, you want to get extra change back if someone gives you, the, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to look at it. You want the bigger apple. I mean, everyone has those selfish thoughts. At least I do. But it, so imagine though, to shift that a little to the left and you, sh you should be selfish. You should be self-concerned. In other words, you should put yourself first. And I don't mean by, you know, taking away from someone else. I mean by making sure that, your energy and your resources and your potential is something that needs to be looked at primarily and first and right away. You know, as Campbell said, if there's a million people in the room, it doesn't really matter anything. If you need to feel happy, it's your responsibility to figure out why you're not. If you're not in that moment happy and then to adjust or see how you were wrong so you can course correct, correct your course and start moving with more energy in a different direction and as soon as you're looking outside and you're going but you know billy or sally or or the government or or my driving license or whatever said i can't do that you know that's where those butts as kemble and i've talked about many times that's where those big butts come in and that's where you're wrong by you know you're putting a butt in your face uh you know we've all had that experience let's say you know sexy or not and you're going like you know why is this butt in my face and whose fault is it that there's a butt in my face and why can't I see around this butt? I mean, if you, if you figure out that it's your responsibility for sticking your nose, you know, in between the wrong cheeks, uh, you know, maybe you'll stop, you know, course correct, turn the other way, take a deep breath and see how you got there and why you're there. And, uh, you know, maybe move that butt away. Yeah. Jeez. Get your nose out of there. Most of the butts <laughs> in my face are very butts. It's, it's the cat. God. Um, <laughs> I don't know what Lorenzo's been doing. Let's not go there. Um, but this is the thing, right? Um, butts. Oh, God. I don't like big butts. Um, you know, oh, butts, you know, exactly right. They stop you. And, and butts are, you know, m mistakes, right? Why can't I do it? Oh, I'd love to start a business. But have you seen how many businesses go broke in the first year? I'd love to start a business, but I can't get that much money from the bank. I'd love to start whatever, right? But, 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 but. And, you know, the thing is, the butt is, <laughs> the butt's on the outside, hopefully. Um, the the, the um, solutions are on the inside. I mean, mm. Humans are solution-creating machines. We, you know, problem-solving machines. We see a problem and our mind is, how do I fix it? You know, we, we're walking down a track and we see a log. We don't go, oh, God, there's a log in the track. Turn around, everyone, we're going home. We go... Should I walk around it? Should I walk over it? Right? How do we solve this problem? That's that's where our mind goes, and that's what they try and take away from us. But that's where we need to get back to because th that if you look at life as that, there's no problems, there's only obstacles. You know, there's only challenges. You know, it's a different way to look at life. Right? When you see something, it's like, oh, okay. How do I solve that problem? Like, life becomes more like a, a a game, right? A puzzle, something to solve. And that's kind of what it is. We're on this path trying to get somewhere. But along the way, life is going to say, are you serious? And you're going to go, yes. And it's going to go, okay, solve this. And, and you know, if you're serious, you'll keep going until you get through it. And then life might go, well, are you ready? Are you ready for what's coming next? I don't think you are. So smack, go and get ready, right? Another obstacle. This is all to get us to where we want to go. It's all learning. We, we can't, you know, a baby that is babied, right, that is wrapped up in cloth, kept in bed its whole life, fed. You know, someone comes in with its little poo pot and wipes its butt. That, that's a completely useless being, completely useless. In fact, it's more than useless because it's a drain. So we have to do stuff. <laughs> life is for living. So get out there and live it. And the, the, the biggest thing is do it with fun. Don't be so, you know. Don't be so judgmental on others or yourself. Don't be so. It's just. It's just life. It's like I said. What's the worst that could happen? You know. And if you don't like being wrong, and I've been there. I spent years. You know, decades <laughs> even hating being wrong. Study yourself. Ask yourself why you don't like being wrong. Maybe you were made fun of when you were five. Maybe your teacher told you you're wrong and. Or maybe you lost out on you know the prom queen uh, vote, or or you didn't get the date you wanted because because you were wrong. And so someone said you were too fat, too skinny, too tall, too ugly, too manly, too whatever. And, you know, that is a good place to realize 
that it's the uncomfortableness of having been wrong maybe years ago, which is stopping you from being wrong now in feeling wrong, which helps you to feel right. You know, so what I'm really getting at is, and we've all been there, right? We all hate feeling wrong. We've all hated being told we're stupid or, or not good enough for whatever reason. You know, I didn't make the basketball team in grade school. You know, that, that hurt me for years after the fact, right? But, but I was wrong. I wasn't meant to play basketball. You know, I'm five foot eight, not a basketball player. You know, but I can do other things, which I'm much better at right now. So by realizing that wasn't wrong, because I, you know, I tried and I did my best and I didn't make it, you know, I could realize I was right in trying my best and do it with something else, right? So that's how being wrong helped me to be right by realizing you put the effort in. You know, maybe you never got that date in high school, but maybe you always wanted to share love, right? So you were wrong in thinking you needed to date the high school prom queen, but you were right in wanting to share love. So what I'm suggesting here is in every uncomfortable moment and why you didn't want to feel wrong, if you look at it closely enough, there's a good reason to feel wrong because there's a golden kernel of right or truth or energy for you inside of that experience, which will actually give you what you've been hiding by not wanting to feel wrong. So you'll pick up why you're hiding it, which in truth is you want to get that energy back to feel right. I hope mm. I explained myself properly here. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a good point. We need to be flexible as well. You know, this whole, yeah. this whole being right or wrong for yourself, it, it can't be rigid. You know, because that that is really what that is. It's the outside world again. It's like Lorenzo said, you know, if you want the, you know, the bell of the ball or, you know, the hottest chick in school, why? why? Like most of the time when you're chasing that, you're chasing a physical appearance, right? It's not that you're, you're best friends with them and you're in love, you know, that, that most of the time it's just horny young guys, like she's the best looking guy. It's, it's outside, it's external. You've been, we've been given the concept of what is beautiful and what is, you know, should be, you know, pursued and all this. So it's actually an outside thing that we're bringing inside and, and kind of confusing as our own, as our own belief when it's not. So this is nothing. We have to be flexible. You know, if, you know, Lorenzo didn't make the basketball team, but maybe, you know, he, he's, um, his path was to teach basketball to, to kids, right. To build up, um, you know, this is a thing it's, if, if he loves basketball, it doesn't mean that that love is so that he can get out and, you know, compete with Michael Jordan. It might be that he's going to teach, you know, basketball to inner city homeless kids. We don't know, you know, it could be anything, right? And this is the whole thing about, you know, judging where this is going to go, right? Because a lot of us, it's a weird thing. People can be wrong in the future, right? <laughs> like they, they, have, they bring up, build up these scenarios, of how everything's going to be wrong and, and destroy itself, you know, in, in the future. So, I mean, the future doesn't exist. So maybe get rid of that and just, we, we don't need, you know, Lorenzo using his image and has an example, didn't need to say, oh my gosh, well, I, I didn't make the basketball. So clearly I'm going to be a, a coach of inner city kid. Now, he doesn't know, right? But if he's open to, to things that come along in his life, he's going to find his path. You know, if he sits in the ground and cries and says, oh, my God, basketball is just not me. I hate everything basketball. Never going to look at basketball again. It rejected me. How dare they? Then he never gets the reward from, you know, from the basketball. Again, did, did that make sense? So, um, but, yeah, I mean, I think what we're trying to say is, you know, just be flexible, right? Let, let if, if admit you're wrong, which is being flexible, right? Okay, I want to do this. I want, okay, that didn't work. That's not my path. I thought it was. I'm going to change tack. You know, if we can't do that, then we're walking a plank, man. And, and, and putting yourself in time is where a lot of this wrong comes, you know, because if you look back and I could see I didn't get some of those dates or I didn't marry who I wanted to, you know, who knows what kind of life I would have right now if I'd had, you know, six ungrateful children and, and four fat wives at this point instead of where I am now, right? Because maybe all those people said no to me and all those situations never worked out for me because later on in life, I wanted to do something I wouldn't have been able to do if those had said yes to me back in the day. So in other words, you know, you know, I've seen, I remember being in line and, and I don't want to take this away from anyone. Uh, this was years ago when I revisited my hometown and I was out shopping and I saw a lady who never saw me, who I used to lust after in high school, right? 30 years later. And oh my goodness, you know, she looked like 
Well, let's just say she did. She wasn't as attractive. She wasn't as attractive to me as she used to. Not the anymore. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll just put it that way. And, and it's not taking anything away from her. Maybe she had three kids. Maybe she did whatever. Maybe she didn't mind losing her shape. Let's say. And it's totally her business because I don't know her well enough to to say anything. But you know, from having been wrong when you know she said no to me asking her to sitting there going, "Wow, that was the rightest thing that ever happened to me." Right. Thirty years later, when I'm looking at it, going. Oh my goodness. So, you know, maybe in the scheme of time, which probably doesn't exist, I think it just exists in our mind anyway, it's probably is no time once you get to that big fifth dimensional world, you know, maybe in the scheme of time, those wrongs and rights somehow mesh together to make a beautiful, cohesive, big new right for you. And so it's one wife isn't enough. Well, maybe not. It says one wife, one wife is enough. Oh, I hear you, Baron. I agree. <laughs> uh, um, that's plenty for me too. But you know, as you're moving forward, you know, maybe all those wrongs are actually rights you haven't discovered yet. Mm. Not even not even mistakes. They're just like shades of a painting you're making where not this way, not that way, not this color, not that. And then suddenly it starts to show you, go, oh, here's that color that's supposed to be blooming. I didn't know. Mm. I mean, how often I mean, do we, I mean there's so many movies about, you know, the the geeky girl, right, who who blossoms and becomes, you know, the hot chick, and mm. and, and all the, and also, I mean, how many people out there? Let's be serious. Have seen their their high school crush or their whatever teenage crush 10, 20 years later, and you're like, wow, dodged wow. the bullet there. <laughs> 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 really dodged the bullet. Um, because yeah, this is the thing, right? Like we're in school, you're dealing with these kids right and they're not even who you think they are because they you know that, that they won't be wrong they've got to be the cool kids everyone's you know got their mask on and so so you marry a mask and then 10 years later you're like oh whoops Ooh, oops <laughs> i was wrong gonna yeah. change that decision right uh, and that's the thing right we can always be wrong um so yeah this, this, you know what are you what are we basing all this stuff on you know and, and are we happy to be wrong i mean it's good to be wrong right it's just learning how, how not to do things. That's all wrong is, you know, so it's, it's the whole conception that they've taught us of wrong is bad. That's, that's the problem here. Wrong is not bad. You know, nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. So if we think it's bad, it's bad. But if we think it's a learning experience, you know, imagine if we were taught in school and we were brought up and that, you know, you go to school night today, we're going to learn the word wrong. What wrong is, is it's it's an opportunity kids it, what wrong means that you've done something and there's a better way to do it and so you should go back and try it again and put more effort into doing it better this time imagine if we got taught that that was the meaning of wrong might be a bit, bit of a different world do you think i mean i mean they abu you get abused with wrong in school right that they right away start to teach you this is right or this is wrong or this test is right and why do they do that i mean if you consider it it's done to put you in your place, to keep you on a chain, to move you in a certain direction. You know, that was wrong. That was wrong. This is right. Good boy. Here's your cookie. You know, good girl. Here's your gold star. And and where are they leading you? I mean, if you look at the overall perspective of what schooling is, you know, and Campbell and I've chatted about that, you know, these days where you're just taught to get a job and maybe not to follow your heart's desire, whatever that is for you, you can see that the whole concept of right and wrong, even if it exists, has been mis, uh, misdefined for you because someone else tried to define for you what was your right and what was your wrong. And, you know, that's impossible. Really, really, really. It, it's impossible. I mean, for anybody to tell, I mean, morally speaking, seems there's a few rights or wrongs. You know, you don't go hit babies in the head and you, you don't go, uh, you know, beat up old ladies for their pocket change. Uh, you know, those are just, you know, gut, fe you hope those are just gut feelings of morality, which morality isn't even right or wrong. That's just a feeling of, of what, is loving and what's not so maybe there there's a better way to look at things instead of what's right or wrong you know what's loving and what's not loving for you mm. yeah yeah for you i've just been having a look at a few of the comments um obviously like someone said uh cohesion so i'm, I'm guessing you're 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 trying to say there's a mm. difference between making a mistake and being stuck to the outcome right you know which is mm. what everyone does right like i am this mistake i am the mistake <laughs> Don't yeah. do that. Be the, be the solution. Um, and a few other ones, um, Chassie Nix is saying she's never been in a relationship. Looking at your picture there, don't know why. Um, if you want to talk about it, send me an email. <laughs> I mean, um, but that could, that could be a good thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. This is the thing. That could be good or bad. And I was going to say, you know, most people looking at that is like, oh, poor lady. 
poor lady and who knows maybe she wants to relate but maybe she's happy as and she's like i've seen some of the men out there and no thanks <laughs> i've got got my chooks in my dog who knows you know whatever's right for you is right for you and and, and the world outside you know judging on point that that shouldn't matter because that's that's at the point where people change who they are to, to you know to be cohesive right with the world and then we see where that leads. Then they just go downhill. They get sadder. They get sadder. They achieve less. They achieve less, and they end up in a hump and you know on the bottom of the floor, going, "Ah, please help me! <laughs> I was wrong. I, I, I didn't get married till I was forty-eight or forty-nine. So you know, there you go. And I've met the the light of my life at the moment. And I can imagine, you know, what I would have happened if I, if I had not been available. Let's say. For, you know, for my, for my wife at the moment, and how and to me things seem absolutely perfect right now. So I see how all those wrongs have become a right in my life, and uh, you're always in relationship, by the way, with yourself, anyway. So that's maybe for me. I had to see that, right? I had to figure out my relationship with myself perfectly before I could be in relationship with someone else. So maybe that's why you haven't been in relationship yet. Maybe you're figuring yourself out so you can be ready for. And who knows how long you can live anyways. This 80, 90 years. Maybe you'll be alive for 500 years and you don't need to be in a relationship until you're 55. Really, who cares? Age, man. I, I would say if, if you're going to say the world is wrong about something, put age in there. Like seriously, birthdays, every year, someone's like, now I'm this old. Now I'm this old. Now I'm this old. I'm getting older. I'm getting older. Oh, this is what an 80-year-old looks like. What? An 80 year old doesn't look like anything. There's 80 year olds who have run every day and eaten a really good diet. And there's 80 year olds who have drunk every day, smoked cigarettes and eaten crap. They're not the same people. No, I, I, I'm, I'm living, I'm going to 120 at least. I, I don't know why, but ever since I was little, I've just had that number in my head. It probably came from the Bible. I remember reading, you know, Noah lands and, and says, now your years shall be 120 and i'm going 120 so why is everyone dying at 70 that's 50 years so is this all something that we've been taught and maybe we need to be wrong about you know because this is the question like how much are we believing and are we living into that mm. is not true how much how, you know and it's probably a good exercise you know how much are we wrong and what do we want to be wrong and where could we be wrong like everything i mean I mean, look at food, right? I mean, we're still arguing, you know, a couple thousand, you know, 6,000 at least years into this, we still don't know what to eat. We still can't work out what to eat. Is that not crazy? Is that not insane? Uh, and I think what we need to eat is what feels right, what makes us feel good, not what the ads say. You know, because you go to the, to the news, right, and it's like, oh, eggs are healthy. Okay, I'm going to eat eggs. Then you turn the page, it's like, Oh, eggs cause heart attacks. Oh, crap. You know, make the decision for yourself because everything from outside is just trying to confuse you. Yeah, down the road there there is a 95-year-old sister and her 92-year-old brother takes his bike over here every day to look after her. Literally he comes every day and I've been living in this neighborhood for three years and I've seen him come and go and, and, I've, and I've walked by at night and she's a little, you know, Japanese lady in her 90s gets out. She's sweeping the front and moving big things along and, you know, he's growing lemons along the side there. And I'm going, well, is a 95 or 6 year old person supposed to be doing that? And, uh, you know, it depends. Some countries will say, are you kidding me? You know, and I've seen people, you know, dead at that age. But here other people are, are you know, getting out every day and he's looking after his sister at 90, you know, two. So to me, as Campbell said, you know, age and besides being wrong with age, being wrong with food, being wrong with your energy, isn't it beautiful to know you were wrong? Because mm. uh, who knows what, you know, who knows what's coming to be right? Exactly, right? Be wrong and see where it leads you. Like the, the, the wrongness is all there for you to go and explore. And, and, you know, we suggest you go and do that. Like I said before, if you want to go forward faster, make more, make more mistakes. Like be wrong more often and learn learn from it if you're making the mistakes and not learning well that's that that's clearly not good but but that's how we go forward that's how we go forward. like it's straight back to the child trying to trying to walk right every time it's trying to walk it's like oh okay don't put the foot that way oh okay don't step on something that's going to roll oh okay don't walk into a table that's head height everything is something that it's learning not to do so that it's taking it towards walking that's how that's that's our life that's it yeah. 
not that hard. You know, in a comment here, I saw that we only have 500 years worth of info because there was a reset, not 6,000. That's all BS. We probably have billions of years of information somewhere inside of us. You know, go look at a, yeah. at a go look at a moth, go look at a tree, go look at a flower, see what it tells you. Like I, I'm talking, I'm not talking about what recorded humans have said with their, 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 mm. their, you know, sometimes yeah, overused, yeah. overused lips and their overused hands, you know, go see what the world is suggesting, you know, go see those trees that are supposedly however old or look at a mountain and see what it's telling you. Look what the stars or the sun, you know, don't only discuss things with humans, you know, that's, yeah in my opinion, how a lot of people are wrong and that they take all the information from other monkeys in this world instead of, you know, how did the tiger become a tiger? You know, how did this flower grow up? You know, one of the things I've noticed because I like orchids is orchids take forever to bloom, right? They, they, they take 10 years sometimes, then they put out a flower, but that flower will last for three months, yeah. right? So, you know, so instead of like a dandelion that'll bloom in a week and then the flower will die overnight. So maybe humans, some of us can be like that too. You take forever to flower, but once you flower, your flower lasts a long time, mm. right? Which means, you know, they call them late bloomers, but that's just a way of looking at, you know, maybe it's taking you a while to grow into who you're supposed to be because you need the resilience of having been wrong a thousand times so that you can stand up and be buffeted by all those people that keep telling you you're wrong and you let that go, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're always getting ready for something, you know. So I guess you know that just choose to get ready for something you want. You know, keep going that direction and don't listen to the outside world who, who wants to tell you you're wrong. Listen to yourself who wants to tell you you're wrong. Much better advice there. Yeah, yeah. All history is a lie. Everything's a lie, other than <laughs> what you've, other than what you've corroborated for yourself about life. Yeah. So, so the uh, thing about history is yeah. it's all written by men. And we can talk, we can say this about religions, about everything. So we don't really know. And now we have AI, right? We don't know how long that's been around. So we really don't know if any of it's true. We know it's all his story. So the only way really is what's true for you, because that that's a collective experience, right? History is a collective experience. So what Lorenzo is saying is, let, let's, you know, take out the middleman, by step all the other men who are trying to tell you the story or Go straight to source, <laughs> connect with source or the Akashic Records or the God or whatever you want to call it and get your energy, to, no, your energy and your information directly. Yeah, and, and you, then you can't be wrong, right? A moth, uh -huh. talked to, a moth talked to me the other day. I'm walking down the street, landed, and I'm watching its little feelers go all over the place. And I was just sitting there looking at it for like 15 minutes going, what in heaven's name are you feeling? What sort of information are you picking up? You know, what, what are you getting just sitting there? And I was nose to nose with it and it didn't move. So obviously it didn't see me in the same way. And for me, I'm going like, how am I wrong? And what I'm picking up even is the energy. We see what 10% of the energy. We're supposedly use 8% of our brain. Like think about that 92% you can be wrong about. It's just mind boggling how wrong you can be for how much, uh, you know, right there is to yet discover in, in, in what's potentially possible for you. I mean, it, it, to me, I'm, I'm smiling more and more. The more I'm just seeing how wrong I am, the happier I'm becoming in this conversation even. Because, you know, how, how can you pick up new energy? How can you see? You know, look at some of Campbell's studies, what he's done with the energy and the, and the word studies and the history study. It's just, you know, colossal, colossal stuff in how, how much you can figure out if you know you've been wrong about what you've learned up to this point in your life. And that's a, a good point that we can end on is, is if we didn't all realize that, that we were wrong, that we were believing the wrong thing about history, <laughs> words, who we are, where we are, we wouldn't be here. None of this would have happened. No one would be researching. If, if, if you can't say, well, I've got this belief and I don't, that, that seems wrong. I'm going to go and look for, you know, some more information on it. Then what are we? We're in a job going around in circles, being a slave to someone who doesn't like us. So, you know, being wrong starts everything. Being wrong is the answer. Yes, be wrong and go <laughs> forward. <laughs> Embrace the wrong. Bring out your inner wrongness. <laughs> you know, as far as the fellow that mentioned continuity, you know, I have a different way of looking at things. Maybe we're living in a dream. Maybe there's a billion different dreams. Maybe we all woke up one day in this dream. And like when you wake up at night and you go, wow, that was a crazy dream. Maybe that's how the resets start. Everyone wakes up in a new dream. 
in a different way to be. You know, we, I, we, we could even be wrong on what we think of is continuity, memory, ideas, you know, where things come from, how our energy reproduces and reconstructs and remakes itself. We could be wrong about so much. It's crazy. In fact, you know, my guess is we're wrong about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Because we have all been taught by men who aren't very well. They don't and want women. To know the truth. And women who don't want to know the truth. So the wrongness is, you know, it's back to this other, this old, old, this um, common theme is, you know, the only wrong that is bad for you is outside of you. It's other people telling you you're wrong. Whatever comes from you is true for you. And so that's only good for you. It's only going to make you grow and have more perspective, be that being right or wrong. As long as you can see that objectively, you know, from the helicopter view, then you're going forward. And, and But if you're listening to the outside world and doing it in reverse, you're shrinking. You're listening to everyone. You're putting up this big shell, a bigger mask. Oh, no, no, look, I really am that. I really am not that. I really am. Just just be truthful with yourself and, and laugh. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I stuffed up. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that poor bugger. He's so uptight, he can't even fight. He won't, you know, won't, won't admit he was wrong. You don't want to be that person. Not at all. And I'm a Leo too. So just to end it, Leos can't be wrong. It's just you guys. <laughs> I'm also I'm also a Leo, which is interesting. Really? Two days oh. in, but it, but this oh. I guess I guess we're never wrong. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. so you're, you're the second day. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting perspective. See, I'm, I'm wrong about so much. This is beautiful. Everyone, I love you all very much. This is the last of our nine live streams. Kemble and I will be back with some more at a future time. It might not be every Friday. We're looking to do in the clown shadow. You know, check out the video. It's on Campbell's channel. It's really all about what we're doing, what we're sharing, how we've been clowns, how we've listened to clowns, how we're inside and outside clowns. It's all about being wrong, so you can be right. And uh, we'd be happy to uh, see you in that light if you wish to join us in any other way from what we're sharing and what's coming down the road this lovely year. Indeed. So you'll find all the links below, guys, if you want to join us. Uh, Patreon, of course, if you want one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching help, um, we'll walk you through it. Um, so go check those out. Uh, check out Lorenzo's channel. Go and give him a subscribe and all that kind of stuff because he does put up, um, you know, content that's different to, you know, that goes up on my channel. Some good interviews there, so go and check that out. And, of course, stay awesome and be wrong. I think that's the message of the of today. Bring out your inner wrongness. And we'll catch you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Bye, -bye, ev bye everyone. Thanks for joining us. This is it. Is this what we've been waiting for? Glory a dream again. Your destiny. Uphold a will. Not compromise. Hey, nay, nay. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom.